Get ready, by the way, to jumpstart your January out with the old. That would mean in with the new as the hottest trends for 2013 in everything from fashion, food, including technology. So where do we turn when we need to know what is coming in, what we need to jumpstart? The one, the only, yeah. Jane Buckingham, CEO of Trendera. Thank you so much for being here. And we want to jump oh, right fun. into this because we're jump starting. Yes, let's get are. into fashion first. Okay. So what was in and out in 2012? Well, let's start with the women. So for the women, we had a lot of bright colors. People wanted to feel good about themselves. Neon pinks, neon greens. So this year, in fact, we're going to be doing more subtle. Oh. Black and white. Why do you, what do you think that says? You know, I think it's a couple of things. I think that we're realizing that change isn't happening as fast as we want it. Mm -hmm. I think that people want to be a little bit more sophisticated. They can't be out there as much. So a lot of the fashion that we're going to see is just a little more tailored, a little more structured, and not quite as sort of fancy and flagrant. Black results. and white, a big color combination. Mm -hmm. Is that the hot? Would those be black the and white hot is going to be the hot thing? It's funny to say black is the new black, but right. I guess black and white is the new black. All right. So it's hard to keep up. We though. actually, Rita, who's wearing a lovely. Um, Ensemble. Lovely Rita. Rita. Yeah. What's good about this is it can go and you'll see it can go from high fashion to low fashion, and this just makes you feel trendy. And then obviously shoes are a big thing that women always worry about. And then last year we saw a lot of wedges, mm -hmm. right? They were big on the celebrities. And this year we're actually going again a little more low key to the low. See, there are those shoe booties. You were saying shoe booties. She's wearing flats. I'm wearing shoe booty because mm -hmm. I bought them last year because I didn't own a pair. And now you're telling me already I'm out of my fashion. job. They no, look very nice on they you. They do. Though. Thank and you. But now I need to, to get a pair of loafers. You need to get a pair of loafers. It's also about comfort, which is good, a little more comfortable than that. But I think also what we're seeing with trends is they don't go out as fast as they used to, so you can still wear the shoe booty. It's just that, you know, the whole fashion business is to make something new. So you yes. gotta go from tall to short, neon to black and white. Well, I love a good what loafer. What about men? All right, what Sam. What, what, what are, what, what, are, do you what need am to I know doing? To jump start your job. This yeah. is a trend I'm fairly sure you can rock. Okay. We saw it on Kanye. He did okay. it with a skirt. I can't it, even guess what this might be. I'm actually begging you to wear this. What is it? <laughs> this would be the male meggings. 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 Alex. <laughs> meggings. Alex, come on up. He's looking a little Robin Hood-esque, and that's, I would never wear all of these trends together, poor okay. guy. All right. Um, but the meggings are not easy to wear, but that's the trend for now. Then emerald green was Pantone's Please. color of next year. And then we've also got the bucket hat. We went from sort of, you know, just wow, sort of you the really regular are. You're baseball. Just all he, is a, he is like a throw up of trends, so this is not good right now. now but Now, okay, with the Sam? megging, how yeah. do you prevent it from being uncomfortable in the rear view by showing, I mean. No, don't. Make him, do don't make, make him turn around. Don't make him turn around. Because I'm kind of like, uh, how are you comfortable you, you know, in not you always wear, kind of like, you wear a long, a long shirt. shirt? I would not go for the blazer. Please I would go for, shirt. or you could do what Kanye did and wear a skirt with it. Okay. That's always an option. All right. Do we get all the male trends with one I, I, Alex? Yes. All I don't right, think good. we can do anything. All right. All right. But, so that's a good note, though, that the color, that emerald, emerald deep, green. dark green, because we saw Robert Pattinson wearing that in a suit, and you were right. wondering, can you pull that off? I know you could, actually. I don't know. But maybe just in accessories. <laughs> um, I love the megging. And, and in fact, are you wearing I'm them wearing right them now? I'm wearing them right now. It's the <laughs> I truth. don't even want to know. Um, okay. In makeup, what okay. were the big trends of 2012? Where are we moving to? You know, 2012 was very much about the lips, right? So it's also about really bold lips. Even lip tattoos. I am, I am just a huge so don't. Next year, I'm wearing rid of your lips. and pale lips. <laughs> um, no, no, no. It's okay because now it's all about the eyes. Oh. So we're going to see eye tattoos. We're going to see this beautiful um, idea of sort of having rhinestones on your eyes. We're even going to see Ooh. colored eyebrows with like blue and neon. So we're going to see a lot of that. And then nails. It's all about the nails. Chanel always sets the nail trends. Um, those are some of their How spring colors. How in the colors world there. do you line up rocks on your eyelids and not poke yourself in well, the Well, Sephora eye. has they're, these they're things. They're super Look easy. Right they're just eye decals. I it's like look, it's almost like a. Can we do that? Come on. Can, yeah, when we come back, it. Sam will be wearing an eye. We'll <laughs> do that. Decal. But then, and also with leather, this is super cool. This is. It's supposed to look like leather. Yeah, and it does actually. Alexa Chung tweeted this, and there's now a waiting list for 2,800 people in the UK and the US. It's by Nails Inc. It's a lot food. more available. Food. What's up with the food world? Okay, again, we're sort of going from traditional to a little bit more exotic. So we had a lot of comfort food last year. We had macaroni and cheese. 
<laughs> we have, you know, pasta bowl, I know both of us. And then this year it's with a twist. So it's macaroni and cheese with like pork riblets or instead of penne or Excuse bolognese. Excuse me, pardon me, someone said pork. Excuse that, me, go right ahead. Go for that one. Yeah. Um, then we've got Asian bolognese. So it's sort of taking things and giving them a so little the bit of a twist. So it's the bolognese over tofu? Over, over tofu and rice. Mm. So it's taking like your traditional tofu. and giving it a spin. And then everyone cares about desserts. And I'm not saying cupcakes are going out. Do not worry. Oh, thank you. But Give me a hug. <laughs> oh, I, I would have been rushed. But it's cupcakes and pies were sort of last year. This year we're going to see gourmet flavored donuts. They have kimchi donuts. They have foie gras donuts. We have mm. a bacon donut no. for you. A no. bacon donut? I don't know. All right, I'll try to try, try the it. bacon donut. Okay. And then right. also popcorn. Popcorn is showing up everywhere in ice cream, in candy, in gourmet dishes. So I think you can expect That's to see good. that moving forward this as well. This is really good bacon too. Donut right? is good. What's up with electronics? Okay. In electronics, it was all about the iPad. Yes, yeah, it's certainly not that the iPad's going away. It's simply that what we're seeing now is sort of an evolution where people want to take it from one screen to the other. So how this works is, is this is the Wii U. This is going to be very, very hot for the next year. And what happens is, is that I have a different experience on my gamepad than you do there. And if you want to watch TV, I can take the game off of there onto my gamepad and sit there and just play what I've been playing. So what playing. the folks at home need to know is your games at home can now, transfer. will be able to transfer and travel with you. Travel not, I don't know if they'll go outside the house, but if, if we want to do something, I can go in the other room. You can you can watch the football game. You can do what you want to do. And also we have very different experiences while we're playing. So this is Mario and it's tag. And what happens is, is basically, and I don't know if Sam wants to try, but you guys have to try and uh, find me? Mm -hmm. We'll have we're gonna have a, de de a death a, match a, a, wearing meggings when we come back. No, because I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my meggings, grab a little popcorn and bacon donuts, and yeah. we're gonna play. And the we're gonna game. have a fierce game. Now you know everything, Jane. Thank you so much.